In this video, we are creating some DIYs that actually light up. They're gonna make your home feel so cozy and gorgeous for this Christmas season. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's get on into it. First up, I love how these stakes look. They have so many different designs and they are beautiful. I love that you can actually see the wood grain on this elf's face. These two were my favorite. You could pick any design that you would like, but I couldn't imagine just filling your yard up with these. So I wanted to come up with another fun way to actually get to decorate with these because they are so beautiful and well-made. They don't look cheap. I'm going to be pairing it with one of these square signs. I removed the little hanger at the top. I do want to fill in the holes and cover those up. So I am going to be painting the border white. So I just thought I would skip the wood filler, go ahead and fill these in with some hot glue. I go ahead and make that flat, paint the outside like with a white frame, and then I'm going to be attaching the actual like little decor pieces to the front and sticking some string lights in between them so that this will really light up and illuminate like any space that you want to put it in. It like you can't see through the decor piece itself, but it like has a backlit light on it, so it looks really cool and love how it gives this soft glow. So to get the lights in there, I do drill a hole in the board and I go ahead and run the lights from the back. So the battery pack is going to be completely on the back side of this sign. And then all of the string lights will be in between the sign and the little yard stake decor piece. So I'll go ahead and attach these with just a dot of hot glue and trying to be super careful. I let it cool off a little bit and just try to push the strings into it. Just kind of making a circular shape behind the sign, making sure all of the wires will be covered. I just add a little bit of hot glue to attach the battery pack to the back, making sure that you can still access the little switch and the screw so that you can replace the batteries if they run down. But with the lights off, this looks really cool. I love that it is a warm glow. I feel like it makes your home so cozy and perfect for like the colder months. I love like as many like light lit up things as I can get in my house. I wanted to make an elf version. My girls are crazy about our elves. We have a lot of elves on our tree and just decor around. So this matches perfectly. So I went ahead and did that, but you could, you could make matching ones if you wanted to put these in different areas. Once again, gluing down that battery pack and showing you what it looks like all lit up, but absolutely love these. Now I'm guessing that these are left over from the fall season just because they had yellow and orange ones left over. So let me know if you're seeing these out in your store or not, but mine still had it leftover ones. So I grabbed the clear ones just so they would be classy for Christmas. And I think this is so cool. So the cork on the top is actually plastic and it has a little switch on it, has batteries in it. So it actually lights up this little string light set that's attached to it. So you could put anything that you want in here. I decided to add in some Epsom salt and some little like greenery and berries to really dress this up before adding in a tag but I think it looks so cool how it looks like all lit up you could put anything that you want in here that was like miniature enough to fit I thought about putting in some bottle brush trees but I was worried about them tipping over and not standing straight so I go ahead and put the lights down in first because I don't want it messing up anything like after I get it down inside of there and then you can see how these look this is something that's on an on and off switch so you have to turn it off of the evenings I wish they had a timer on them but I still feel like it is a really cool product for Dollar Tree to put out. I wanted a pop of red color, so I'm just using some berries off of a faux floral stick that I had stem and pulled these off and stuck it down in there. I didn't even mind that the styrofoam was showing. I felt like it would look like it had the fake snow on there. I added some little glitter to, mi to mix with the Epsom salt, shook them up until I liked the look of it, and these are ready to go. But I loved these little tags. They have a little bead at the top. They're $1.25 for six tags. I didn't know which ones I wanted to use, but I picked out a couple of my favorites. Just put these around the top of the neck of the bottle, and I feel like these are gorgeous. Takes less than five minutes to put together, but so elegant and looks so gorgeous lit up at night. Thank you. 
Next up, we are creating a large sign. I have leftover boards that have the random star cut out at the top that Dollar Tree kept putting out over and over and I had collected too many so I thought I would repurpose these for Christmas decor. I go ahead and just use the straight edge of the second board to use my utility knife to cut off this star. So I love the finish on these boards and I feel like they are really like a good quality for the $1.25 price point, but I do love that you can score them with a knife. So they're really easy to work with, no power tools or saws required. I do want to attach these two together and my favorite way to do that is to use these jumbo popsicle sticks and adding hot glue. This keeps it really sturdy and makes it one piece. I found this adorable little clothesline set full of elves clothing at the Dollar Tree. This was in the plus section, but I feel like it is so well made. My girls absolutely love this. I bought a couple of them so I could leave one as is and then one to put a little clothesline at the top of this sign. I had some leftover like huge black words so I put welcome at the bottom so I could put this by like an entryway table I think it would be really cute I love the little clothesline at the top I tried to glue this down and I almost forgot to remove the screw so that would have left it not even and sticking up at the top but go ahead and secure that down now since this is a string light video I love this little set of star string lights from Dollar Tree so I go ahead and just clip that onto the clothesline I was worried about the clothesline being a little bit heavy, so I did go ahead and just re-secure this on there with some dots of hot glue underneath the clotheslines or clothespins, and then attach the ribbon on the back as well as the battery pack. This lights up really cute, but I feel like the little elves clothes are so whimsical and adorable. One of my favorites to light up the evenings. Since this is a video all about lights, I felt like these LED candlesticks fit perfectly into this video. These are one of my favorite products and these actually are on a timer, which is incredible. I am pairing it with one of the Dollar Tree little baskets and going to create a little flo floral like centerpiece that looks really cute. I made a couple of these to kind of set them together. These candlesticks are incredible as is, but look even better like glued down in the basket decorating around them. Now the bottom of this does like remove from the top of it so don't worry about gluing it down. I just hot glued it down into the bottom of the basket and then I'm going to be filling it up with some of the older picks that I had. This is a great way to get to use them up. I love how it looks with the big pine cones but also that pop of red with the berries. I feel like what really makes Christmas pieces look high end whenever you're adding in so many different greenery pieces, especially like if you purchase a Christmas tree, they are usually made like that. So why not bring that into our everyday decor? So I am just putting in some different types of greenery with random picks that I have. And then I feel like it would look even better, although it already lights up, it would look even better with a little set of string lights just wrapped around the greenery. And I love it so much more. The whole piece lights up. I was able to tuck the battery pack down inside Side, but a really fun little piece. Thank you all so much for checking out today's video. Please leave me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.